Guahan Academy Charter School is ready to open on October 23rd. That's according to Program Director Dr. Donna Dwiggins. During a phone call with PNC today, Dwiggins said that the late start would allow students attending schools under the Department of Education to finish the first quarter where they're at and transfer their credits to Guahan Academy. But Dwiggins did not disclose the location for the school, and finding a location is what has kept the charter school from opening so far. The Guam Charter School Council approved the opening of Guahan Academy back in 2010. And Charter Chairperson Rosa Palomo says the delay in securing a location has been a lesson for the council. I don't think we should even entertain an application until we have confirmed a location, either a lease agreement, if it's a school, then that school definitely has been uh, turned over to or a portion of the school turned over as, as designated or signed by the superintendent of education. We will not repeat this mistake. Palomo says her council has been given very little information about the opening of Guahan Academy, but she does know that a budget has been approved by the legislature. They have been allocated 5500 per pupil rather than the 6500 or, or 100 whatever uh, that originally they were seeking. Um, I still, as a, I cannot inform my board exactly how many students they, ha they have and still cannot inform my board where this school is going to take place. Guahan Academy isn't the only charter school having trouble getting started. An application for at Dow Academy Charter School has been waiting for approval from the Charter School Council since July of 2011. But Palomo says the council hasn't been able to take action on the application because it continues to lack a quorum. We had work sessions and work, and work sessions thereafter, but it's just that we cannot make anything official unless we have four. Four is the magic number for us. Palomo, Joseph Cameron, and Jamie Mason were all present at today's council meeting. Dr. Encito Walter was the only qualified member absent, as Mary Borja Mofnis is no longer qualified to participate in the council because she has taken a job with the Department of Education. Betsy Brown, PNC News.